or you want to make a leather bag but not quite sure where to start you don't know how much leather you need what tools you need uh, maybe even the best leather to use there's a lot of things to consider but we need to first determine what kind of bag you're making before you can even answer some of those other questions and so let's look at five key parts that make up a bag that are gonna help lead you down the road to what you need to actually construct that bag. So the number one thing, let's look at gussets. Okay, what is a gusset and are you wanting to build a bag with a gusset or without? So when we look at different types of bags here, let's take two for example, right here. These are gonna be two simple laced type of bags. They need very little tools to get going, but there's a difference in these. This bag here has what we call a gusset. So we have a front, a back, and then this piece in the middle is actually opening that up and creating a little bit wider of a space in there, and that's called a gusset. In contrary, this little zipper clutch here, this, there's no gusset in that. That's a flat construction, two pieces put together like that. Now, you can create an open concept in that bag without a gusset it's a different kind of construction style but if you're looking at like a tote type of bag okay now this one here we have seams in the bottom and on the side that create the width in there but without having a separate gusset piece and we can get into the different types of construction in a whole other video but those are two big questions. Are we gonna have a gusset or not have a gusset? Now, the next thing is the seams. We talked about seams being on the side of this bag. Now, this right here is what's called an inseam. Now, what the heck is an inseam? An inseam, an outseam, are we talking pants or are we talking bags here, right? Well, the seam on this is actually rolled in as opposed to an outseam bag. I have a couple examples of that, what we just looked at. The edges of this are on the outside. That's an out seam. Same thing with that first lace clutch. Here's another example of one that has a gusset and an out seam, but this one's laced together rather than sewn, right? But that is still an out seam. The main thing with that out seam is you're gonna have two pieces of leather that are going together and they're gonna get stitched and then that seam is on the outside, so you're gonna see that rough edge. An inseam bag is actually constructed inside out. So for this bag, for example, you can see we've glued together the right side out inside and then stitched all those edges. So now this is at the point of being turned to where you would roll this inside or right side out now and it's a process to do. It's a little bit of a wrestling match. We'll get it though. that rolls out what was sewed inside out is now creating that inseam look on that so we don't have a rough edge on there all right we've talked about gussets we've talked about seams what about straps what kind of straps do you plan on putting on this bag is it going to be a simple little clutch bag or add a strip for a, a strap for a wristlet there. We're going to have shorter straps, so it's more of a shoulder bag. Or we have a crossbody strap, to where you're going to have a longer strap that can actually run clear across that body. That's going to be something to consider as you're making that bag. Again, if you're planning on using any hardware for that. If it's a bag where those straps are attached with any sort of a ring, or if they're laced or sewn right straight onto your bag. 
hopefully what you're seeing is there's not one right way to do this. You can mix and match and do different things. You get to be the designer and create the bag that's your style. Closure is another thing to consider as well. How's this bag going to stay closed? Or does it? There's an open tote style where we have that top open, no closure at all. As you carry that with the weight in the bag, your stuff's going to kind of sit down in there. That's a bag that can stay standing pretty well once you get some things in it. Other closures are going to be a simple flap closure. So you have a flap that comes over and creates the closure on that bag. It's not a hard, fast closure on there, but it's one that it's pretty simple to do and it helps keep that bag closed and avoid things falling out of there. We have two other types of closures we're going to look at. One is a snap. This is a simple snap. That's a line 20 snap. There's all kinds of different little clasps and closures you can get, but something to consider as you're making that. If you want to go to what I would consider maybe the most intimidating for sure, maybe the most difficult putting in is a zipper closure. That gives you a definite closure. That whole bag is closed, but again, that's a little bit more intensive of a build uh, depending on the style of bag and maybe not one to tackle on your first bag, but something to work yourself up to as well. We've talked about gussets, we've talked about seams, we've talked about straps and closures. This last one, is definitely a personal preference thing, but what about pockets? What are the pockets going to be like on your bag? Are you going to have any pockets? Are you going to have just a, an open tote with no pockets in it? Are you going to put a pocket on the outside like this one has there? This is a simple extra piece of leather stitched down around there. Nice rolled top on it, but there's a pocket there. Um, we have ones with uh, pocket on the inside so you can see the the back stitch on this bag here that's actually two pockets that are on the inside of that bag we have this bag here this one is a little bit unique the inside of that's actually lined as well so it's a, a nice liner in that bag but has the pockets built into the liner on that Again, that we start getting in those drop-in liners and things get a little bit more intensive of a build. But even those simple project or those simple pockets out there, stitched on the outside or on the inside, can help um, add a little functionality to that bag, and they're not that hard to do. So when we look at all the aspects of the bag, man, what kind of leather do you need? What kind of tools do you need, machinery and all that, you can start extremely simple. You can start with a bag laced together with some lacing, so you're going to need a hole punch, whatever knife that you use to cut your leather out with, and this is all leather construction. There's nothing in there as used as a hole punch and some glue and knives to cut your leather and you can create all sorts of styles of bags just by constructing that way. This is an out seam, laced together, no machine necessary for that. Um, you get into sewing your zippers in and things, you probably need that sewing machine to get that nice stitch in there. But as far as adding pockets go, we talked about how simple that can be. In seaming bags is typically gonna come once you have a sewing machine and you're I mean, you could be hand sewing all that as well, but I think if you're going through the trouble of hand sewing, let's put that nice hand sewing out where you can see that. But it doesn't have to be elaborate. It doesn't have to be intimidating. You start with the style you want and go from there. I hope these five keys are gonna help you in designing your next bag. Let me know in the comments any of these styles that you want a more in-depth video on how we construct or any other questions about the construction of these bags. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.